Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Rachel Davison, and today I'm going to show you how to make caramel apple popcorn balls. These are a fun treat, especially for kids, and really make a nice uh, table favor at your Thanksgiving table or a little treat to pack in your kid's lunch or for, a, for an October birthday party. Today I'm going to show you just in brief how to dehydrate apples using your oven. We're going to use Mutsu apples. They dehydrate really nice and evenly. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I dehydrate them. I'm going to quarter the apple and take out the, the core and the peel. And I'm going to show you how to, how to dehydrate using the oven. You can also use a dehydrator, which is going to take about a full 24 hours. Um, but it does a very nice, consistent job. The oven is going to be a lot quicker. It's going to take about two hours. Uh, sometimes they get a little bit crispier, but especially if you use them right away, it doesn't matter at all. Some people like to leave the peel on. For apples, I prefer to take it off. Okay, so we've got our peel and our core out. And all you're going to do is slice them. You just, you want to keep your slices uniform. So whatever size you pick, I'm going to slice them about, I don't know, probably about an eighth of an inch. You just want to keep it consistent throughout because then it's going to, then it's going to be even when you're, when you're baking them. I just um, put it flat on the cutting board and then just kind of slice them into rainbow pieces. Okay, so you get the idea there and then just spread them out you don't want them to be touching because they need to get air around the whole thing. Um, but just spread them out on your cookie sheet. These are going to go in an oven set at 225 degrees. You're going to bake them for an hour, then flip them over and bake them for another hour or until they're dry. And you can tell when they're dry, um, if you pick them up and feel them, if they're still soft and mushy, you can tell there's moisture inside of it, then just keep on baking. So that's how they start out looking, and when you're done, they're gonna look like this. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it for you today, but now you know how to do it, and we're gonna move on to making our popcorn balls. So the first thing we need to make popcorn balls is obviously popcorn. So I've got one of these, um, like a Whirly Pop electric one here that we're gonna use. You can use an air pop or two if you prefer, or obviously a pot on the stove. So all we need is a little bit of canola oil or olive oil in the bottom to keep it from burning. And then half a cup of popcorn kernels. A quarter and a half. And for mine, we're just gonna plug it in and let it do its thing. Okay, our popcorn's just finishing up. The other ingredient that we're going to need is our old-fashioned caramel that we make at the farm. Um, oh, this is just finishing popping, so let me pop, pull it off of here. We don't want it to burn. And then we'll keep talking about the caramel. Okay, so that was half a cup of popcorn that we've got popped. And now we need to warm up our caramel so that it's easier to pour. So we're gonna use one jar, one 300 gram jar of caramel for half a cup of popcorn kernels. I'm gonna put it in a measuring cup so that it's easier to pour. And then we're just gonna melt it a little bit in the microwave so that it's easily pourable. Okay, so our caramel is now nice and pourable. It'll, it's hot, so be very, very careful with hot caramel. Um, but it's ready to mix in with our other stuff. So we're gonna take a large bowl. We're gonna dump in our popcorn. We're gonna add one cup of dehydrated apples or apple chips. This adds a nice little tart surprise in your, in your popcorn ball. Pour on our caramel. I'm gonna pour about half of it on stir it up and then I'll pour the other half on. It's starting to come together. Okay, let's give that a good mix until it all comes together and it's evenly coated. Awesome! This is very evenly coated. The caramel has distributed very nicely. 
So I'm gonna form these into balls now. I have a little bit of water in a bowl beside me here and that's just to wet my hands and that'll keep the popcorn from really sticking to me. I don't wanna use like an oil or anything like that because then your ball isn't gonna to stick together as well. So I'm just gonna get the palms of my hands a little bit wet and then I'm gonna take a handful and I'm gonna squeeze it together. Now the first time I made these, I was surprised. I thought they weren't sticking together as well as I thought they should. Uh, but then it dawned on me that the caramel is so warm that it's it's still, it, it holds together. But if you take a bite, it'll just kind of be soft. So after you've made them, we need to let them refrigerate for a couple hours or even overnight. You can make these a day or two ahead of time, no problem. And I've discovered also that they freeze quite well. So if you want to put them in the freezer and then pull them out for your Thanksgiving meal or for your party, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm thinking this year of using these popcorn balls as name placements at my Thanksgiving table. So I'll show you in a minute here how I'm going to package them so that they're cute and people are going to be so full after the Thanksgiving meal they might not want to eat them that day. So I'll package them to go with their name on the tag so that they can take them home. So we got 11 caramel apple popcorn balls out of our half a cup of dry popcorn. And what I'm gonna do is I just went outside and cut a few twigs before this, and I'm gonna poke them in there so that they're gonna be like an apple pop. We're gonna poke these in. This is optional, but I think it's kind of cute. It also, in theory, will keep the kids a little bit less sticky when they're eating them. <laughs> Okay, so you get the idea there. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna package these up for Thanksgiving. All right, so to make these into a little table favor, I'm just gonna take a little treat bag here. And we are going to take a, take a caramel apple popcorn ball, slide it into the bottom, like that. And we're gonna take our ribbon, orange for October, of course. Just cinch it up. And if you want to make these into um, table name placements, then just make a little name tag and add it there onto your ribbon. So that's how you make caramel apple popcorn balls, the perfect Thanksgiving treat. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.